Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today the update dropped. So I haven't had like too much time to play it. So I don't want to do like a review on the entire update because I don't think it'd be accurate. But we are going to do first impressions on Hot Zone. So quick description, control the Hot Zones to win, establish control and earn points by being inside a zone while keeping opponents out. So when the time runs out, the team with the most points wins. Watch out for the double points in the final moments. Um, I did play a few games and this is actually my second take on recording this video. Um, I just tried picking up guys from the club and it didn't work out. So these teammates are a little more reliable. I think hopefully, fingers crossed, don't jinx it. But um, I don't know about the meta that we're going with. I think Sandy is really good here and Penny seemed to be working okay against us at least. <laughs> But I'm just gonna like miss all my shots pretty much. Hold on, I need to warm up for a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna go down, but Flower should be able to do some work on the Jesse. So I'm not sure how good Mr. P is or where he like really fits in the meta, but I feel like his super could be good on this map and I just need to get my super ASAP. So hopefully the Pam here is gonna be generous and just give me it, but their Penny is gonna get her super way before mine. Unfortunately, I might go down here. I don't really care as long as I get my super, um, if I'm being honest, so please just let me hit you once, Pam. There we go. So we'll get it, but they're going to be really pushed up. What I did realize is it doesn't matter too much the early game, like obviously you don't want to go down like an insane amount, but uh, the double points is when you really can like take over a game. But I'm pretty sure they do have a penny turret up. Um, yeah, they do. So I'll just drop mine right here, that way it can target their penny turret and we can just take it out that way we don't have to like overextend for it and we're actually gonna get pretty much the first control of the game we're down a good amount but like i said as long as we have it for double time we're probably gonna get frank flanked um bill will get taken out and i'm gonna use this to walk back into that i'm gonna go down here for sure all right double points comeback is happening it is live it's going down uh i don't think piper is a very good choice I have to do take three. <laughs> oh, Phil, I don't think you ever go Piper again. All right, take three. No, I'm kidding. We'll we'll try pushing through on a loss on the first one. All right, guys, game number two. Um, first one didn't go as intended, so I'm going to go on Sandy. I'm pretty sure from what I've played against and um, from what I've heard that Sandy's like the most broken brawler in this mode, which doesn't surprise me at all. His super is just insane. So I'm actually going to use the healing star power and honestly Mr. P seems like he's pretty decent in this mode too. Um, obviously he's a new brawler so like nobody can really, um, so Phil's going to miss his pull but nobody really knows how to use him perfectly yet and he is an interesting brawler but I think I'll just throw this up so we can get some healing and I'll go help out Flower as well. Can we get the Rosa? Nice, we got the Rosa. Um, and. His little things are going to stay alive. I don't know how good they are against Jesse. I feel like it's just like free bound shots though. As I walk into a Jesse shot. So the Rose is going to try pinching. But we are one shot from our super. So please come here. There we go. I'm getting hit by everything. This game is so bad. I'm going to have to go for the Rose. Okay. So this game's actually pretty close so far. But I think we're at the point where... It's starting to get a little open and we do have a really good control comp their comp it's good for pressure but i think i think we'll be okay as long as we can hold it down for double points i'm gonna go straight for the barley here because he is just so annoying to deal with um i can take out the jesse here as well and i'll drop my super probably not the best value oh okay i almost made it out the rosa just kind of left me alone there but my teammates are doing pretty good and it's 10 to 6, so as long as I can hold it down until I can get back out there. I'm not sure if I'll use the healing one again. We gotta get resting and keep them out of middle. Please don't kill me. Alright, so Phil is gonna be racking up those double points, and the Rosa knows that she just has to go for it at this point. So I'm gonna heal up. Oh, please don't lose. Please, 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 please. I think. Wait. Okay, no, they don't have enough time. They, if there was a few more seconds, we would have lost. <laughs> um, I think I'll go damage, Sandy. All right, so we're going to be trying out Poco and Sandy. So I played against this comp, and it's really good for just mid control. We still got the Mr. P, which, honestly, Flower's been doing fine on Mr. P, so I didn't want to tell him to get off it because I think he's been doing good. 
So, um, one shot to super. Oh, I don't think I changed my star power. Okay, Phil's gonna be a little late on the heal, but it's fine. Um, and Flower is gonna go finish him off. Nice. So you can see I'm using the suitcase effect really good there. And we gotta keep him. They have the damage sandy star power on, so I feel like that might be the move. Have it. Feeling our damage. Okay, we got damage on two. I forgot I changed it. So we can pinch the sandy here actually. And I'm just gonna like play the angle as well as I can. Just kind of like hold it down. We gotta watch out for the Daryl roll. <sighs> that looks like. Mm, okay, I forgot I have a Poco on my team. So we're actually all gonna stay alive surprisingly. And I'll just like space them out. I think that's kind of the strat. So the damage one definitely. It's always been my preference, I think. I don't really like relying on teammates. <laughs> so the damage kind of helps you take over. And I'll at least get my super back. Luckily, they kind of like overlapped with each other and I could just hit them, but we got to get control for the double time. Um, and I'm not sure if Daryl has roll or not. So I'll get rolled on here. Actually, he's going to go for flower, which see if I can keep alive. Oh, that's off. double points. I got to get in there, but right there. Yeah, I'm going to go down. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good kill. 11 to 2. It's not, it's not looking very good. So honestly, the Daryl was such a pain in that game. I think I'm going to try going Daryl next game. Alright guys, game... I want to say number 4. I think we're 1 and 2 right now. Um, what? Phil changed off Daryl. I was going to go Daryl, but then he was on Daryl, so I let him, and then he just changed the last second. Okay, we'll have to see how Ems does. I think Ems will be fine, to be honest, but we gotta be careful with the Daryl. So I will pick up my first super. Phil is gonna get solo killed by the Pam, and I'll get rolled on. Flower will keep me alive though, nice. Halfway to super. Alright, I just gotta take this out, and then maybe Phil should be going mid instead of me. Go for the Pam, we'll take her out, and I'll die here. But I did get my super off, and maybe I can stay alive now. Fortunately, I couldn't, and I just ended up getting flower hit with the penny um coins. So, a little unlucky there. But, again, as long as we can get it for double time, which I think we can, we just gotta be careful. Like, the Daryl's just so good. Hmm. Maybe if I try going down a lane, I don't know. The mid hasn't really been working very well. Let's see how it goes. I don't think Flower knows this isn't it. Okay. So one to nine. I'm pretty sure if we have like 15 seconds in there, we can catch up. It's really gonna hit me when I'm in the sanity star. I don't understand penny turrets at all. <sighs> okay, double time. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're actually good because Daryl didn't regen. Be over here. We'll roll into a wall and I think we're gonna be good. I don't want to jinx it. Um, oh, we're good in there. All right, we're gonna be good. Wait, are we? Okay, we will. We will. We will. We're good. We're good. Alright guys, so Phil kind of bailed on us. He wasn't a fan of the mode apparently. So me and Flower going in with a random uh, phase flash over here rocking the Dark Knight Jesse. But honestly, Sandy just seems so good. Like I'm pretty sure we can win with a random. The only thing I was having issues with with Sandy was the Daryl. And that's just because it's so congested and when he rolls on you, there's not much you can do. So I think I'll go down the lane actually. Let the Jesse have mid and see if that works better because they do have early control and the Pogo is going to be him a little bit. But... I don't know why, I think, I don't know, it's, I feel like our comp is better in the long run, but they do have like pretty good sustain, I guess, but Poco's gonna go down, and we get the Jesse turret, I don't wanna shoot, it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back out to my lane here, and hopefully base flash is getting close to a turret, but you never know with randoms, <laughs> so, easy value on the Poco there, one shot super, and I just wanna make sure we're good for double time. I got a regen here, and I might just go really aggro. Jesse's really gonna catch me. Good shot. So I'm just gonna be really annoying to them, and 
think we do have a pretty good setup right now, actually. So if I can just like stay up here, they can't really do much. Play my Sandstorm, really aggro, that way they're just not regening, and I'll just go for the Poco, free kill. And okay, Pam's just kind of rush in a little bit, but our Jesse's doing a good job, surprisingly, just holding down the mid. And double time. So we gotta like go hard right now. Okay, seven to nine on the okay. We got this, we got this. 100 percent So I'm gonna go down. The bounce shots from the stupid penguins. <laughs> Can they hold it down? Jesse, get in there. Just no, don't let oh Jesse. Oh my god. Useless Jesse. Jesse, useless. No. Oh, I was so confident. Oh. Alright guys, this is going to be the last game, and we did pick up a pretty good third. We got Beastinator coming in, filling in for the Jesse that I raged on last game. Um, so I think Sandy is actually pretty good on lane here. And the one thing, uh, so far, I don't really like it too, too much, if I'm being completely honest. It feels really spammy, and I don't know, maybe I just have to get used to it. But the one thing that I do think it has going for it is the maps. So I'm not sure if they're hotpoint exclusive, but I did see they were releasing some old maps like Bonebox, for instance, and there may have been other ones. I'm going to go down here. Ugh, that was kind of kind of reckless on my part, um, but I'm excited for Bonebox to come back into the game. It's a really good map and, you know, just it has that nostalgia. That's one of the first maps that was ever in Brawl Stars. So I was really disappointed when they took it out. So I'm really looking forward to it and we're going to like tie it up right now, actually. Still gotta get used to playing against Mr. P. I don't know how he works exactly and what does star powers do, but I'm sure these guys don't even have the star powers. So I don't have to worry about that too much. But okay, let me get one more shot. And we'll get really good value here. Oh, okay, Qualanita. We'll get really good value here. And Beast is gonna go flanking. Oh, two cases. Okay. Nice super from Beast. And he'll probably charge it right back. Yeah, he did. You can see at the end he got it. And we'll go take out the penguin machine. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> we'll take out the penguin spawner and you can see Flower demonstrating how to use Mr. P pretty well there. He's hitting like a lot of those suitcases. And as I say that, I get hit by his suitcase as well. Um, hopefully he can go for the M's there. If not, actually I can just take it out. So that's fine. And we will take out the Qualanita maybe with her sandstorm. No, okay. We're gonna loop around and get her. And you can just see how important double time is. So. You are going to be sandy try having a super ready for double time it just it's a strat trust me it's a strat and we are going to finish this video off surprisingly on a win i think we went like three and three or something including the jesse game so not not the best content but it was just getting used to the mode and figuring stuff out all right guys that is going to be it for today's video um my first impression is i'm not a huge fan of the mode if i'm being completely honest maybe it's a map maybe it's just not understanding like what's going on but it seems really spammy and just kind of like run in and like Daryl roll and just Sandy super and that's like everything that I don't like about the game right now even though I've been playing like a lot of Sandy competitively I'm kind of forced to and I'm not a huge fan of the meta and I can't I didn't even realize they made balance changes like everything feels exactly the same to me um, but I'll save that for the next video and my first impression is play Sandy um, Mr. P seems decent actually so I'm happy about that. He's a brawler that I think I'll like. And Daryl, obviously, he was destroying us. So Daryl, Sandy, and I don't know about the third. The third's kind of like a toss-up. I feel like M's was actually not bad, especially when she gets her super. And then on the other hand, the penny turret's really annoying too. So odds are those aren't even like the best brawler. Well, Sandy and Daryl, odds are they are. <laughs> B2, I could see. Um, but just play around. Let me know what works with you guys in this mode again this is like one of my first times playing it so i'm still really getting used to it but let me know if you guys like the mode what works for you etc etc and i'll see you all tomorrow peace